Hi, I'm Michael Hassett. I'm the uh, Managing Director and Founder of TDC. Um, my pleasure to be working on the Bark series for Brandenburg One. One of the biggest things that we did was something called the, um, the, the Royal Australian Navy Fleet Review. It was four or five years ago and uh, all the ships from the US and uh, various other fleets, China I think even came in here. Uh, the harbour was full of military vessels. And for the first time we did projection on both sides of the Opera House at the same time and all four sides of the Harbour Bridge and a number of the, the buildings. So it was almost like doing Vivid, um, but a little different because there was all this uh, you know, military element to it. That was probably one of the biggest events that you know, we'd ever done. Um, that was quite challenging um, because they were really wanting to combine uh, a lot of lighting, projection, and a lot of fireworks. Um, it was pretty massive. Well, I guess, the, well, actually, when, you know, Noel first proposed this to me, I go, oh, OK, what are we going to do here? We'd better go and have a look at these instruments and work out how, you know, best they should be mic'd because, you know, it is significantly different. We haven't done a lot of uh, orchestral kinds of work, although, you know, from time to time there have been these bands with orchestras. But usually we've been, uh, you know, like in the Opera House and the Opera House guys have looked after you know, the, the orchestra side of things, and we may have done the, uh, the other part. Um, so the first thing was, go and find out what instruments we're dealing with and look at the best methodology of, um, you know, how to record them. And, you know, we have a bit of a challenging space here to, to work in, and, um, you know, we couldn't actually apply some of those best methodology, you know, best methods. Um, and you know, I think that we've found the right microphones, we've got the right mix of microphones, we get the right sort of depth to, to work from. I think it's a, you know, a pretty good starting point. The vast, the difference between um, what I would say a more contemporary uh, instrument, even comparing violins or violas to um, you know, the Baroque instrument, um, I've really got to appreciate the difference between the strings and the bows. and how these instruments sound quite different to uh, a, more, a more contemporary, uh, you know, orchestral instrument. Um, you know, those, the strings, the, they, they're just so different. The, you know, the, uh, the, the timber, the number of uh, frequencies, the number of sounds that are coming off one string is quite, quite amazing. And actually standing, you know, in the room with the instrument, I was thinking, oh, you know, so, and sometimes I did think, oh, is that right? Because there is, um, I don't know, a real life to it, um, a life of its own. Um, and even just the different, because I, I think we've had violins, two violins, um, but they've just sounded so different, amazingly so. Well, you just have to. I mean, you've just got to get your head around it. And uh, yeah, Paul's a bit of a live wire, isn't he? He's, you know, but he's great. He's thinking. He's looking. He's you know trying to develop. Um, you know, I guess that's why he's the creative director. He's being very creative with this whole series. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing how this ends up. It's going to be great. Well, pretty much it came from uh, having to react and find a solution of something to do with this, uh, you know, once COVID hit us. Because, you know, we got to the end of March or middle of March when things became announced, or particularly when the pandemic was announced. Honestly, our work just dried up um, overnight. Uh, millions of dollars were just walking out the door. And uh, we we're at one point going, oh, well, that's OK, we've got Vivid. And then literally, as soon as we mentioned it, next day, psh, Vivid goes. That's all right, we got the school spectacular at the end of the year. No, that went too. So, you know, we're sitting here with very little, uh, um, you know, in the pipeline and uh, thought, well, what can we do? 
some of our clients said, well, you know, we need to do streaming, we need a space, we need, um, you know, an altered method uh, of presenting to people or getting information out. And so we built this space and um, it's been used for a wide variety of things. Uh, and, you know, Australian Brandenburg Orchestra in there is uh, one of the other extremes. Um, you know, I started this business essentially 40 years ago, um, or coming up to its 40th year, um, early 1981. Um, I've been through one or two uh, recessions, uh, global financial crises, um, uh, you know, a number of different things, and I've never seen anything like this coronavirus. It's just frightening. Just incredible how destructive it has been financially and spiritually to people. It's quite unexpected. I have a business that works in music, uh, theatre, film, television and corporate. Now you would have thought, oh, okay, well you're pretty recession proof there. You would think that one of those industries or one of those businesses would be up at a time and somebody be down. And to get to a point 40 years later to find that uh, you know a virus has stopped all of your business in one hit and you could never have, never have dreamt that this could have happened. It's been a pleasure working with the Australian Brandenburg Orchestra and I really hope you enjoy the series that has been produced. <laughs>